We're told to graph the image of triangle PQR after a dilation by a scale factor of 2 thirds about the point negative 1 comma 2. So pause this video and have a go at it before we do this together. So in other videos we've done pure dilations by a scale factor about the origin. But what's different here is we're about a point that's not the origin. So what I'd like to do is first do a translational transformation so that the point negative 1 comma 2 gets shifted to the origin. Then we do a scale factor about that origin, about 0, 0. And then we can do the translation back from the origin to the point negative 1 comma 2. And the whole time, I'm going to describe each of these compounding dilations in coordinate notation so we can get the final dilation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to shift the point negative 1 comma 2. So that's negative 1 comma 2, this point right over here. I want to shift that to the origin. In order to shift that to the origin, I have to shift to the right by 1 and down by 2. So the first transformation I'm going to do is I'm going to take x comma y. And whatever my x is, I'm going to add 1. That shifts me to the right by 1. And whatever my y is, I'm going to subtract 2. Now that will definitely shift negative 1 comma 2 to the origin. But what does it do to our triangle? Well, everything shifts to the right by 1 and down 2, to the right by 1 and down 2, to the right by 1 and down 2. And so after this transformation, my triangle looks like this. My triangle looks like this. And we can see what these coordinate points are, which is going to be important as we're about to do the actual dilation. This point right over here is the point 6, 3. 6 comma 3, this is the point 9 comma 0, and this is the point negative 3 comma, oh sorry, it's 0 negative 3. I get confused sometimes. 0 negative 3 right over here. Did I do that right? Yep, 6, 3, 9, 0, 0, negative 3. Now the next thing we want to do is dilation by a scale factor of 2 thirds. To do that, you essentially just multiply every x and y by 2 thirds. So if we want to write it in coordinate notation, whatever our coordinates are now, we're going to multiply by 2 thirds. So now, we just multiply 2 thirds times each of these, so 2 thirds times x plus 1, and then 2 thirds times y minus 2. And then if we look at this, if we see what each of these points become, 0 times 2 thirds is still 0, Negative 3 times 2 thirds, let me do this in a new color. Negative 3 times 2 thirds is negative 2. 9 times 2 thirds is 6. 0 times 2 thirds is 0, so it maps over here. And then 6 times 2 thirds is 4. And then 3 times 2 thirds is 2, so this becomes 4, 2. 4, 2. And so now our triangle has been dilated about the origin to look like this. Now the last thing we want to do is shift back so that the origin goes back to negative 1 comma 2. So we just want to undo this transformation right over here. And so that last step, what I'm going to do, I, ha I start with this point, 2 thirds times x plus 1. And now I want to subtract that 1 to be able to shift back to the left. And then likewise here, this coordinate, 2 thirds y minus 2, this y coordinate, I want to shift it back up by 2. So each of these points, I'm going to shift to the left by 1 and up by 2. Actually, let me do this in another new color. So to the left by 1 and up by 2. To the left by 1 and up by 2. To the left by 1 and up by 2. And so my triangle finally looks, finally looks like this. And then this is my final uh, dilation in coordinate notation. <laughs> but I want to simplify it a little bit. Well, actually, let's see. Is there, yeah, I guess I might as well simplify it, do a little bit of algebra. So this is going to be the x1, the x coordinate is 2 thirds x plus 2 thirds minus 1. And then this is 2, the y coordinate is 2 thirds y minus 4 thirds plus 2. Now, 2 thirds minus 1 is the same thing as negative 1 third. So this is 2 thirds x minus 1 third. And then this over here, if I have negative 4 thirds plus 2, 
two is six thirds. So this is going to be the same thing as two thirds. So it's going to be two thirds y plus two thirds. And we're done. I could put this in here. This is two thirds x minus one third. And then this is two thirds y plus two thirds. And we are done.